Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're doing the weekly oracle card guidance. However, I am not going to be using oracle cards. I am going to be using these affirmation and inspiration cards. So we have um, three options here. Uh, the blue, which is uh, Lufthansa. Um, the red, which is Kinder, um, the, as in the chocolate and tie here uh, go ahead make a selection uh, and um, yeah I hope that you will enjoy your reading so for those of you who've chosen the first option here we are asking today what is it that we need to hear so I'm going to go ahead and uh, choose a card for you and then I am going to channel a message for you So the card here reads, every plan my father in heaven has not planned shall be dissolved and dissipated. The divine idea now comes to pass. So for me, this card here talks very much about being able to let go, being able to trust, being able to allow one to go with the flow and knowing that all is going to be fine, even if you do not know it intellectually or from a pragmatic point of view, even if things do not seem to be going in the correct way, to understand that there is a greater plan in place here and to be able to trust in doing so. Now, this card feels like it's not so light, like it comes with great burdens or great sacrifices, and you might be experiencing that in your life right now, where trusting is a very difficult process. We're trusting what it is that you need in your life or where it is that you're going to can be very hard. So you may be in a situation where you are challenged by something more immediate, something financial, something physical, and the the message is simply to trust, simply to allow flow to be. So it might be looking as if it's going against you or working against you, like it's Whatever is happening right now is working against your plan. But this card wants you to know that nothing is working against you. Everything is working in terms of your highest good and you are an all that you need right now. So this card talks quite um, openly, quite effectively, uh, quite bluntly about how one's ego and one what, what one one plans for oneself can't always come to pass and that there must be a serving of that which is the greater good that which benefits all that which is actually uh, the plan of the for the highest good of everyone here as opposed to what is only important for you so this can be a difficult pill to swallow it can be very hard to accept that but um, here you're being shown and being told that even if it feels hard, even if it's a difficult pill to swallow, it's okay that it is. There's another situation here that um, is coming up. There is almost the sense that this card has different meanings for people at the, mo at the moment. And even though the overall meaning is the same, you're experiencing it in a very different way. So for most of you, you won't be experiencing these challenges that I've just talked about right now. But there's one other scenario that they're showing me here. They're showing me that everything's going according to plan and you're feeling very well and you're feeling like you belong and you're feeling like you've turned a corner and things have come around and they're okay. But then something happens and when this happens, you are shocked to the core. It's almost like you're trembling and you realize it's not as you imagined it to be, that your uh, perception of the reality as it was, was a romanticism. And in this case, you are being told to actually take a step back, retract from where you were heading and actually move on move on. Whereas you may have experienced uh, something really good, something going according to plan, something that felt right for that moment. It wasn't meant to last and it's okay that it's moved on. It's okay that you're feeling this way right now. This card alludes to the idea that 
there is a plan in place that does not necessarily uh, take your well-being into account, that it might actually be contrary to your well-being. However, it is not as simplistic as that. In this case, it is to say that there are circumstances in which you not getting what you want as you've planned it is um, actually saving the well-being of another or saving the life of another, saving somebody else. So your discontent is less than the discontent of someone else in this situation. Whereas that might be hard to accept and hard to believe, it actually talks more about being part of a whole, being part of community and giving up something for the well-being of another. There is this idea that the divine idea now comes to pass. And what they mean here is that the divinity, divinity in its true sense, healing in its true sense, requires coming into balance, requires restoring equilibrium. And here, what is happening right now in this week, as you go along, is that dignity will be restored, equilibrium will be restored and balance will be brought about. So however it comes to pass, however you experience that, recognize that the end of this is actually going to bring about a restoration of all that is meant to be and how it's meant to be. So it's almost like suge you're suggesting that it's okay to um, surrender to this. It's okay to give in to this. It's okay to go with the flow at the moment. It will be to your advantage. So that's um, the message for those of you who've chosen the Lufthansa plane for today. Uh, I hope that message has resonated and I hope that helps you as you go along in the week. For those of you who've chosen the red option here, the Kinder plane, we are asking, what is it that you've come here to hear today? What is it that you need to hear right now? What is your message for this week as we go along? So this card reads, when I'm able to let go of my problem, cast the burden, I shall have instantaneous manifestation. So the sense I'm getting with this card, or those of you who've chosen this option, is that things are really right around the corner for you. You just need to wait a little while and have a little bit of patience. And in the meanwhile, you could do a bit of work on yourself. And the work that you can do with yourself is actually to remove any discontent that you may have, to uh, come into a space of feeling well, feeling satisfied and feeling fulfilled in yourself. So what I'm hearing here is that you can just cast away the burdens, as it says in this card, and that it you're going to have... Um, some assistance to do so at this moment. So whatever situation that you are uh, occupied with, you are going to receive some kind of assistance during this week, whether it's just um, an energetic uh, kind of support or whether it's actually somebody helping you to release yourself from any burdens that you may be carrying. And once you've done that, once you've recognized that you can actually let go of the things that are bothering you, whether it's actually the care of an of a parent, or whether it's the, uh, you know, the care of a family, uh, if you the one who's always doing everything that you that needs to be done around the house, or if you the one who's always caring for everyone else, and this feels burdensome to you, and you haven't gotten a chance to actually go and experience something and and give yourself what you need this card here talks about that those burdens being lifted whatever the burdens are that they're going to be lifted and you actually need to apply yourself to that you need to dedicate yourself to that and doing so will allow it to come about with much more ease and once you've done that once you feel lighter once you feel as if your burdens have been lifted you are going to be uh, like a magnet which means that you're going to be able to manifest whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're dreaming about. So it's really, um, you know, important for you to recognize that as you release your burdens, you need to keep your thoughts clear on what you want and what you desire and what you're wishing for yourself as well as for those around you. Because this 
is going to be like a charge magnet and you're going to you're going to be able to attract all of those things quite quickly and quite easily as a result so as i see i see as you go along in this week if you're not receiving the support that you need in order to be able to release yourself from these burdens then go ahead and ask for it and be quite clear about what you need state your um your your request for assistance quite clearly for some of you, I feel like the door might have closed on you already, or at least you feel that the door might be closed. Perhaps as somebody who's chosen not to interact, or perhaps as somebody who's um, decided that they would not like to assist any longer. And here, um, the message for you as well is to just knock on that door again, or just go back to that person and ask one more time. Because what I'm hearing is that... Um, that person might have been going through some of their own difficulties when they actually let go of you or said that they wouldn't be able to help you. So go ahead, knock on that door one more time and ask very clearly what you need. And uh, there need not be any frills, any, um, any, anything else that holds you back. You need to be very clear about what you need. For those of you who are and uh, this message is resonating with uh, you requesting something from another in order to e ease those burdens. There is another message for you here, and this is very important. Um, so the message is, well, don't just take something or ask for something and then, um, you know, have hidden daggers with it with you. So don't just ask for something and as well as Wanting, wanting something, but because of your hurt or your pain or your feelings of past rejection, uh, don't, you know, um, show your discontent to that person. Don't show your frustration to that person. Don't make them feel like you have been, or don't um, give them the feeling that you want their help, but you're not really grateful for it because that they won't respond very well to that. So you, when you go in there and you ask for assistance, you need to be able to be appreciative of what you will be receiving as you go along. So there's an underlying energy here that's um, warming up to manifestation. It's preparing us for manifestation. And those of you who catched that bandwagon just need to understand that all you need to do is let go, let go and release. So whatever you're feeling, even if it's your responsibilities and you can't really let go and release it, it's the feeling that you have about it that's actually going to make the difference. So, you know, perhaps you are um, a parent and uh, you have many responsibilities and you need to just do what needs to be done. Or perhaps you're a child that has to take care of a parent. It This is not to say that you should release the care that you have to take of your family, your children, or be it your parent. Um, this is to say that as you go along, don't feel as if what you are doing is a burden. Release the frustration, release the angst around what you have to do so that you can actually enjoy that experience. And so it's no longer a burden, even if you have to continue doing it, even if it's still there, even if there are delays in what you needed to do. So there might be delays as far as um, placing your mom uh, or dad or, or some elder person in um, an old age home or under some other person's care or uh, you know, getting your kids off to school or getting them in some kind of care. And if you have that, and if there is some kind of delay, despair not and just um, allow yourself to enjoy that experience because it won't be for very long that you would be, you will have this feeling of being burdened and it will really help if you could allow that to be, to be, you know, released from you so that you can actually enjoy yourself a little bit more and you can actually make space for those good vibrations to come your way. I'm hearing here as well that you know whatever you experience is actually um, the making of yourself and your own um, your own feelings you know you can design your reaction to something not your initial reaction but you can design how you respond to something as you go along and so that is going to be the key to you having a good time this week and you being able to release those burdens and you being able to really go deeper in yourself so that you can experience something in yourself it's almost like a spiritual feeling or a, a spiritual moment in yourself where you feel that things are aligned and that you that everything is going according to plan um so you have a great possibility of that happening this week and 
and as you go along in the future, in the next few weeks as well. So that was my message for you, for those of you who've chosen the option number two here. I hope that has been useful, and I wish you all a very good week as you go along. So for those of you who've chosen the option number three here, um, the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to know as we go along in this week? And what is the message that we've come here to hear as we go along? So this card reads, as one door shuts, another door opens. And, um, you know, I've come to actually enjoy the um, weekly oracle card readings in a different light because I've noticed that the energy uh, as we have it always comes up as one of the cards or one of the messages. And usually it's the first one, but this time it's this card. And so I want to say that, you know, um, a lot of things might be coming to an end right now. And the endings have begun for some time already. And we are still, still perhaps processing these endings. And this card here talks about how um, these endings bring about new beginnings. And that is really the energy at this moment. So that is the card um, that's come up for you. I feel here that um, you it might feel like a bit of a roller coaster for you or that things are getting out of hand a bit and that you try to move things and things are going too fast. It might feel like things are going really, really slow right now. And as you get into August, things start going really, really fast. You might need to move a house or move um, like um, your, the city that you live in and um, just close a lot of doors behind you. And there's they, it might be that there's a lot of changes in your life that require um, quick action. And uh, it's almost like you need to take advantage of a certain um, offer that's coming your way. And if you don't, that, that opportunity will be lost and you'll be like, kind of lost in the doldrums. So I want to say that even though uh, this is a weekly oracle guidance and I'm talking about the next few weeks with you, you're going to find that this week it's important not to procrastinate. It's important to be on the ball. If somebody asks you for something, give it to them immediately or as soon as you can. If um, there's been a request or some kind of interest in you, make sure that you follow up with that uh, quite promptly. There is a sense here that you are going to be appreciated in new quarters, that things are going to work out well for you and that new beginnings bring not just uh, new beginnings in work or in money or in financial status, but also new beginnings in love and also new beginnings in terms of breathing life into oneself. So if you've been feeling fairly dormant in the last years, or if you've been feeling that things haven't really been moving as fast as they, they could have been, you're going to find that the month of August is going to be really uh, moving along at such a, a breakneck speed that it's going to shock you and it's going to be something that you're not really used to. I hear you that many of you are concerned about things. Um, you are just concerned about different things. You're concerned about how things will work out or how things will pan out a little later on. It's almost like you still need to make decisions um, as to the direction that you're going to go into. And I want to say here that as soon as you are comfortable um, with that decision, then you will know what you need to do and things will will actually work out okay. It's just that you need to come to terms with the decisions that you need to make right now in order for things to proceed um, calmly and smoothly. The other message I'm hearing here is don't be too sentimental about it. Don't be too caught up in the past and memories. Do what is necessary to be done right now and as you go ahead and don't let the past hold you back any longer. This is a great time for opportunities for you and it's important that you actually just go with it and allow it to take place and not let things from the past or things that have um, may have slowed you down 
in the recent past coming your way right now. It's time to clear the path and make sure that you go ahead and that you catch that opportunity and do so in a in a functional as well as in a prompt manner. And you will know what I'm talking about as you go along in your week. So I'd like to say thank you. I know that's a bit of a short message, but I feel like that's enough, that that's what you need to hear right now. And um, some of the questions that you have or some of the questions I feel that you have um, can not be answered in this um, context. What is important is what I've given you right now and what you need to know further. You are going to find that information from other sources, perhaps other pick a card readings of mine or of other people, or perhaps with a with a private reading with somebody who's close to you or somebody who you trust. Um, don't underestimate the power of going within yourself and listening to your own wisdom. It's just um, a step away from you. It's just a deep breath away from you and allow yourself to listen to what it is that you need right now and don't be afraid of what it is that you need to hear don't be afraid most of the time we know exactly what we need to do but we don't because we're afraid of it all right i'm wishing you a wonderful week as you go along and good luck with everything it seems like a very blessed week for many of us and i think it's all going to be very fine as we go along so many many blessings to you all please stay healthy and safe and well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.